We're talking how to create metrics that matter and the three most important areas you better be tracking in your business. Welcome. I'm Stacey Tushel. I help small business powerhouses get more customers in the door, more profit in their pocket, more happiness in their homes through well-oiled operations and scaling simplified. Today, we're going to be talking about what metrics you're going to need to create for yourself in your business. Even if you're overseeing all of the departments, or hopefully you're setting KPIs, key performance indicators for your leaders. And I'm going to share with you the three most important places you should be focusing on. Now, I have an amazing template for you today. So stick with me because I will make sure to get that with you. Um, in fact, if you know you want this, you can type it below KPI. I'm going to share with you our three departments and KPIs that are associated with it. So make sure to put KPIs in the comments below. If you're listening to the podcast, just DM us on Instagram and we'll get that to you. All right. So you know you need metrics, but it's confusing to understand what to track right? And how to track and all the things. So I'm going to give you an example of bad tracking or bad, like checking the boxes. So how many of you know, you absolutely need to do an email newsletter every single week to your list, right? You've heard this over and over again, that the money is in the list and you've heard you must nurture that list. So I know lots of people that are checking the boxes every single week to get one email out the door. Now, here's the bad part is you send one email and you go done. But why? What are you actually accomplishing? So you see that, yes, it's getting it done, but you have no idea how it's actually driving revenue or impacting your critical number. So the next question is, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Next question is, where do you start, right? Where do you start? So how do you start tracking? What does that look like? Well, here is where I'm asking you, are you measuring what matters? Ask yourself, where are customers coming from right now? What is actually working in your business? Do you know? When's the last time you've checked? How often have you updated this information, right? Take a look, ask people. So start to really dive in. We just had a conversation this week with our team and there was something going on with Facebook ads, like something that she was tracking, but then she's like, but my, my knowledge stops here with the metrics. I can't see what's happening behind the scenes. So let's actually, so she had asked me a question. What is happening with this specific ad? Where does it go from there? Who is actually buying? We had to go look, we had to go ask the team. Okay. So instead you want to make sure you can implement three or implement KPIs in these three main areas for yourself or for your leaders that directly relate to your critical number. How many of you know what a critical number is? Okay. This is a big one. A critical number is one number, one number in your business that you track every single day. It could be sales. It could be product units, right? There's a lot of different things that you could pick. Now the word priority Actually, we call it now, like, what are your priorities? And it's plural. But when the word first originated and was used in the English language, it was just priority. There was no plural on it because think, how can you have multiple priorities, right? You have to have one. We've got to go back to the basics. KPIs and metrics are getting talked about all over the place. And what's happening is you're trying to track and measure everything. And all that's doing is making you lose focus on the most important things. So the question is, what is the number one most important thing you could track? Now, I, well, I teach this, and as I'm teaching it, this is where a lot of small business owners get stuck. They're like, I don't get the one number. You have to ask yourself, this number, if it grew, would your revenue grow? If it decreased, would it negatively impact your revenue, your profits, et cetera, right? You want to track something that's actually going to move the needle. Okay, so that is a critical number. Now, the three main areas you absolutely want to be thinking about, number one is marketing, okay? So what? there's a lot of things you could track in marketing. You could be tracking, think about it. I only want you to have three to five. So depending on how many people are working for you, if it's just you, you get three to five numbers. That's it, that's it. Well, if you have Instagram, Facebook, a Facebook group, Twitter, YouTube, you name it, you're ready at five things. Well, each of those could have three to five things you track. 
So again, where your focus goes, right? You really want to make sure that you're putting your energy and focus on the right numbers. So what you are staring at starts to grow. Okay. So in marketing, like I said, there's how many platforms, there's how many activities on those platforms, shares, saves, likes, comments. Oh my goodness. You name it, right? Engagement, follower growth, all the things there's emails, there's click through rates, there's open rates, um, all of the stuff, right? Be intentional with those emails. So the question becomes, and I can't, I can't tell you, oh, you've got to track your Instagram. No, because it, you might not be doing well on Instagram. So you've got to ask yourself, what is actually working for you? What is actually helping in your business right now grow your business? So in marketing, maybe you have a killer email list, right? Maybe you're doing really well on Instagram. Maybe you have a podcast. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a referral program. Whatever it is, you want to lean in to those and you want to track the three things that are working for you in marketing, okay? All right, next. The next piece, fulfillment and operations. Okay, so what does this look like? Well, I can tell you, most of you will have similar numbers here. This isn't as crazy as marketing, right? So here, we want to make sure that we are um, tracking retention, retaining, right? So churn, we don't want people falling off every single month. So what is your retention? How, like what, you could be tracking upsells people buying more by right by adding on you could also be tracking referrals referrals is something i want you to have and when you get referrals it tells me you have a good product that people are getting results from if you are not getting referrals there is something wrong with the delivery right because you want to share exceptional experiences from companies you buy from if you're not getting referrals there is something disconnected there okay um next last piece you can be looking at like the numbers, think numbers here, right? Sales, HR, finance. We have this other department where we're really looking at the numbers. So again, what would you be tracking? Well, possibly daily sales. You could be tracking, um, like, how do I say this? I can't even think of what we call it. The number of people that are defaulting, right? Like what's your default rate? So you might have projected, you know, 70,000 for this month, but if 20,000 declined, expired, they're ghosting on you. This is important information. Okay. So sales and finance. Absolutely. Now, um, and I threw a bunch in here, like sales, there's HR in here, even in finance. And that feels like a lot, but let's be real. Most small business owners don't have head of sales, head of HR, head of finance. Right. So, and a lot of times that just falls on the C the CEO. Okay. All right. So with all of these, I want you picking three to five numbers per person on your team. If it's just you, you get three to five. If it's five people on your team, now look at you get 15 to 25. Do you see why it's very hard to compete with people that are building a team? We get to go farther, much faster. Okay. So you want to be picking those three to five. You want them tracked and reported on a weekly basis tracked and reported on a weekly basis. If you want to see our KPIs, type in the word below KPI right now. Okay. Then next, you want to make sure that you are sharing them with the rest of the team. So when you put it out there, what everybody's KPIs are, what happens is all of a sudden, everybody is getting accountable, being held accountable to the rest of the team. People can see where people's numbers are, are they hitting it or are they not? When that is public knowledge, right? For everybody, people step it up a little bit. So definitely share with the rest of the team. Um, then overall, I want you to progress, um, or sorry, overall progress reviewed with team members quarterly, okay? So every week they're seeing what they're hitting, what they're not. But every single quarter, I want you to really look at this. I want you to possibly recreate these tweak them, refine them, et cetera, as you start to create them. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what this looks like. So our KPI spreadsheet right here is actually going to help you, um, get your three departments. So when I just said like the, the marketing piece, right, you've got the, um, operations or sorry, fulfillment side. And then like that operations piece in the background, I'm going to give you like a couple options of what those KPIs could look like specifically. And that spreadsheet is going to help you figure out like where to go from here. Now that spreadsheet is just a guide. 
Okay. That is just a guide. You are here to know your business, to figure out what is moving the needle, what is not. So do not just rip mine off because those are things that are moving my business. They're moving the needle in my business, possibly not yours. If I had you start tracking an email strategy, but your emails are not great, it's not going to make a difference. Do you see what I'm saying? Lean in to what is already working. I say this to my clients over and over and over again. Lean in. Now, if you want to grab that KPI spreadsheet, put KPI in the comments below. If you're listening somewhere else, just DM me on Instagram, KPI. I'll send it over to you. And if you want help actually creating KPIs, doing this with your team, if you want to see what it looks like to work with us here at Foot Traffic, type in there, comment below the word call, and we'll get you set up with one of our scale specialists, and they can fill you in with more details on our programs. All right. Have a phenomenal rest of your week. I hope you enjoyed today's training.